What's racking guys, here I'll be taking a look at Andrea Pitania, definitely a very solid young striker, interesting to see how he grows over the year, because he does have some solid stats already, uh, just needs to improve in some areas of course, does have uh, quite a room he can grow as well, uh, with a nice big disparity between his overall and his potential, you can see he's 6 foot 2, left footed medium medium, but he's only 2 star 2 star, but he does the, have the power header trait, which is always huge, huge. he has outside foot shot, uh, as well as strength, especially as you can see his strength is tremendous, um, he's really not that fast, but he does have good stamina. Jumping is in that bad attack position, uh, looks okay, but you can see finishing, heading accuracy, shot power look very solid. But end of the first season, does move up to a 65, but did have an injury that did hurt his physical stats, unfortunately. But either way, you can see that green there in his technical stats, which is always great to see some improvement there. But really, he did improve very quickly, um, up to a 72 at the end of year three finishing heading accuracy shot power very high volleys penalties ball control dribbling and short passing is decent for a you know um big target man he always wants to have one who has a bit of technical ability as well i have to say but you can see here up to a 76 overall at the age of 24 again it's been pretty quick growth but uh physical stats um, they improved a bit attack position is pretty high uh ball control dribbling are solid as well but now he does reach a social potential of 78 here at the age of 25 um and really this guy is very good if you can get over his physical stats not being the greatest of course his strength is going to be amazing and if you're going to play if you like if you don't really exactly you know run at defenses a lot you kind of play you know more basic you know football essentially um you're not going to be trying to send long balls over the top constantly. He'll be a great player, but even, you know, when you do send those long balls, he can really hold off defenders. That So that certainly is an attribute as well to think about. You can see uh, he can play with that long ball, but he also would be great, you know, just in those tight spaces with that strength. But you can see here, again, he's continued to improve over the years. He's 28 years old, 81 overall now. You can see that finishing, heading accuracy, ball control, shot power are incredible, and he would continue to improve as well. But uh, this would be the last year of growth, essentially as he would cap out at an 82 at the age of 30 so he just really grew above it, his potential tremendously and you can see strength is solid uh, and the like and it's just really all these specialties he grew up poacher aerial threat strength and complete forward uh, which is just t tremendous to see you know this is a very complete striker now with the exception of you know kind of low agility but I think his physical stats you know are very solid either way because you can see that finishing heading accuracy shot power ball control decent dribbling you know, good volleys, solid short passing penalties really make up for it. He's just really blessed with some great techno ability for a striker. Of course, he's a big target man t type player with that nice strength. Uh, of course, six foot two. So if you if he fits into that mold for you, he's a huge recommendation, guys. But of course, he really could you know play a little bit of direct ball as well, even long ball. You know, using that strength to hold off players. I've done it before in my career modes, especially with Boyman's um, in my FCU track and So he's definitely a huge recommendation, guys. Definitely take a look at him if he fits your style of play. But again, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later.